Welcome to Ford High School Weekly. I'm your host, Dion Amade. He's a two-time Oklahoma Gatorade Player of the Year. He's finished his high school career with 40 goals and 27 assists. He's the type of player who can turn a game on its head, according to his coach, Eric Marshall. He is Will Edwards, Jinx Trojans soccer star, soon to be Tulsa Golden Hurricane. I got a treat for you this evening. We're talking to my man, Will Edwards, the Gatorade Play of the Year for soccer in the state of Oklahoma. Will, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> well, what we do here is uh, before we ask you the hard hitting questions and get to know you a little bit better as far as the, the sports world and, and how you like to prepare and, and get ready for the season, we're going to ask you some personal questions and, and let the, the viewers get to know you just a little bit. Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. First question. And you knew I was coming to in this direction, especially since you're a soccer player. Mm. Which player do you prefer? All right. Ronaldo or Messi? Who's Messi. the best, man? Messi. <laughs> and Messi. tell me why. Tell me why. Um, I just think he's an all-around better player. Um, Ronaldo is way more, like, gifted athletically, but I just don't think anyone can top Messi's, like, soccer IQ, just all-around game. Well, and so that leads to my next question. What's up with the number 10 as far as as far as soccer? Why is that the number that the the, the it seems like the best player on on each team always is rocking that number 10? I just think it's like just one of those numbers as in like 23 in basketball like that Michael Jordan left like 10 is just a number that like the the better players or like the leaders of their team like typically wear in soccer. I'm guessing it started with Pele. Probably, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's kind of been all over the place, but. Well, speak, speaking of teams, uh, what what team would you consider your favorite professional soccer team? Liverpool, Liverpool is my favorite. For really? Yeah. Yep, Premier League champs, so that's good. <laughs> so when did that love of Liverpool start, or how did it start? Um, It started when we swore as well was on team I just I was like I was a little bit younger and I just really thought he was a good player and I liked the way he played so I kind of just became a Liverpool fan through that so that's where it all began for me <laughs> all right not mad at it not mad at it as far as uh you know your your style what you what you wear on a day-to-day -day basis I know us athletes yeah. we we seem more comfortable in hoodies and sweatpants <laughs> joggers yeah. but for, for you if it's a normal day you're you're going to school or you're going to class what what, what are you rocking um I'm usually rocking just shorts and t-shirt um I love my shoes just picked up some new Air Max 97s you too um, <laughs> yeah yeah so what color I love my um summer of london it's like kind of a neon neon green neon yellow white or kind of all over the place the bright okay i feel it i just picked up some all white ones so oh summertime, yeah, yeah. summertime oh, we're, i gotta fly <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the colorful ones are the all white they're clean yeah. though man i got some of the i can't remember i think it's the i can't remember what they're called but it's the Saquon Barkley was the one promoting them last year, and it's the one where it's like red, yellow, blue, green, and there's all of them. Those those Air Maxes, I got some of those yeah. last year, so I'm a big Air Max guy. Like, I think those are like the Olympic rings or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, so as soon as I saw them in the commercial, I was like, man, I got to give me a pair of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are fire. So as so now that we're we're on that subject, I mean, as far as brands go, I see you you're right we're rocking the stripes on your chest, but you're talking yeah. about Air Max is is your go to. So which which brand are you rocking with? You going Adidas or are you leaning towards I've, Nike? I've been a, I've been an Adidas guy most of my life. I'm just I'm just now starting to branch out to Nike or like Nike shoes. Um, picked up some Forces and the ninety sevens, so I'm branching out. I'm, but Adidas is Adidas is me. <laughs> All right, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. All right, let's lean lean towards uh, television and and and, uh, and movies here. What what would you say is it's Will's favorite movie? Favorite movie, man. Um, it's got to be like any action movie or like any Kevin Hart movie. Um, really? Yeah. 
Um, like the Ride Along movies, those are really funny. I love those. I literally watched that last night, Ride Along too. <laughs> yeah, they're they're hilarious. So let me so let me ask you this, since you're certain, since this is uh, something up your alley, who's the who's the best comedian in the world right now? You got two options, all right? Kevin Hart or Dave Chappelle. You got to pick one. I got I got to go Kevin. Really? I'm just I've seen more of Kevin. I know I know who Dave is. I'm just not really too familiar to really put him ahead of Kevin. You're, sh you're showing your age, Will. You're showing your age. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> when we return, we'll talk to Will Edwards on how he's moving forward after dealing with a family tragedy. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. In 2017, Will Edwards lost two of his siblings in a tragic car accident. He's getting along thanks to his family and support from his Jinx community. We're talking to Will Edwards, uh, future Golden Hurricane. Uh, right now, Will, it, uh, it, it's impressive to, to see you, I mean, be in this position with everything that's gone on in, in your life. I mean, uh, the tragedies that's taken place, unfortunately, it's it's altered your life in in a, in a in a certain way, and how have you overcome those those situations? Um, I think the game of soccer helped me a lot. I remember um, after everything happened, I think I took like kind of three or four weeks off, um, and then my dad was like, "You need to get out there and like start going. Like your team needs you," and so um. I think like really just the game of soccer became like an escape and I found myself like working way harder after that just because I knew like I, li I just experienced like life could end at um, really any given moment and I want to be the best I could be so after that I like I became like a com very competitive with everything I did. Um, so I think really just like the game of soccer, like really like blessed me as like an escape um, to like, not necessarily like get away, but those emotions, but just like focus on something else for that part of the day. So you said your dad was the one that kind of got you out of the bed and got you out of the room and said, hey, uh, it's, it's time to play. Is, is Was that the push that you needed or is it something that eventually you 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 would have you know found your boots and slipped them back on? I think I I think I I would hope to I would hope to say I would have found it earlier, but I think without that like initial get your butt out of bed and like go to practice, um, that 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 helped me a lot. And then like my mom was also like right there in my corner too, like. She was more focused on just like putting my emotions before hers, like making sure I was okay. And I think that also like was able, like let me be able to like go and be with like people without like um, wanting to just like be by myself and like my uh, my emotions. So how, how was that? I mean, as far as, you know, going back with your team and, and, and going back into society, so to speak, what was the what was the change like, and how did how did your community support you? Um, my uh, my club soccer team, um, because that those are the first uh, kids I I actually like saw. Um, they were pretty special. They just I think they knew that I was o kind of over talking about it, and um, so I think I got a hug from uh, every player, and then my coach, and then just. And we started like and that was kind of the end of it but um as far as like community jinx community is very special very very special um i remember like going into my first day of class my sophomore year which um and my english teacher miss bremacomb um she like slipped me a note and said like hey, like, if you ever, like, just need a moment, like, just say you're going to the bathroom or something. And that was that was very special, like, and just, like, there's plenty of teachers and 
um, students that were like very there for me, but I think that like represented like what the Jinx community like was and that like everyone was just like in my corner to like continue to be me and like um, and be the best version I could be on and off the soccer field. When Ford High School Weekly returns, Will Edwards tells us how young he was when he started playing soccer and how he built the confidence to succeed on the pitch. Check out Ford Game of the Week Classics Tuesday and Friday nights at 8 p.m. on Your View Channel 3 and go to yourview.com slash OK for complete interviews and local high school sports coverage. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. We're talking to Oklahoma's 2019 and 20 Gatorade Boys Soccer Player of the Year, Will Edwards. Now Will Edwards, gonna take it, his own. Will Edwards oh scores, God. what a move. Great goal. By the sophomore and his teammates swarming. Wow. I wanna ask you this question. It's a question that I ask uh, all the athletes that come on this show. Is, why did you start playing soccer? Um, definitely in the beginning, it was just like it was something fun, get me outside and like have and like make friends easily. Um, then like over time, like it's just like like almost like an escape from like the like life's hardships, I guess you could say. And so I just really like had a passion for it, and I enjoyed like getting better every day. Like it wasn't like, it wasn't like a, a punishment to go to practice. It was like, I like enjoyed it. I had found like joy, like in the game playing it. So that's why, that's why I love it. Never really get bored of it ever. So. So what, what age were you when you started playing? I started playing like, like rec indoor. Um, and like when I was like three or four years old. Three or four? Yeah. Is, is that a, is that is that a, the normal age for kids to start playing? I don't think so, but my dad has like been an athlete his whole life, race motorcycles, and so is my mom. She played basketball growing up, so like getting me out there from an early age, I guess, was something they wanted me to do. Well, I can't be mad at that. I mean, it's just, it's just, they say one of the best sports to play when you're a younger. Uh, individual or younger athlete is, is soccer because it, it, it helps you with your footwork and that correlates yeah. to so many other sports. As far as other sports, did you have any interest in anything other than soccer? You just said your parents were all athletes. And so was there anything that you wanted to play other um, than soccer growing up? I played, I played a little bit of football growing up, um, up until like fifth or sixth grade. And then I played basketball up until my freshman year or like, I quit after my freshman year and focused on soccer. So, but I definitely see um, what you're saying about how soccer like kind of transcends to other uh, sports. Just from like, I feel like I'm a better athlete because of it, like generally. So in, in those sports, which position did you play? Um, football, like we were kind of like too little. I played like quarterback and running back. Um, basketball, I was, I was either point guard or shooting guard. Couldn't really shoot, but I could I could play defense really good, so that was kind of my strong suit. So it seems like there's there's a there's a trend here that any sport that you play, you kind of always want the ball in your hands. I mean, you're playing <laughs> quarterback on the football team, playing the point guard, shooting guard on the basketball team. Is that what is what what goes behind that? Is there a physical you know? Is that one of your character traits? Are you just one of those guys that wants the ball in his hands at the moment, or or is it just it just how it happens? I think it's, I think more so in soccer, like I've kind of, I built up that confidence in myself to like allow myself to like kind of put myself in those situations. Um, whereas in like basketball, I wasn't certain necessarily like the best player on my team, but I was more focused on like setting up the better player on my team who could like easily win the game just for us. So I see like both sides, um, but I just, I think like confidence just like from years playing soccer, I've I've built that like I want to be in that situation. I want to like be able to trust myself. 
how big is that in your game right now as far as which which with you being the age that you are how much does confidence go into getting on that field and, and being dominant and, and having success i think it's like huge um just because like um i feel like i see so many like kids like just like kind of growing up who were like had a very big like promise in the sport but just like kind of confidence and um kind of just like tore them away from the game which is really sad to see um so i think i've done like a pretty good job of like just building like a base of self-confidence that i can um just like go into a situation like college my freshman year to like i know i belong i know what i can do and i know i can get better here so yeah so where does that confidence come from uh i think it comes from experience and um like my parents and like some very close friends that continue to like encourage me and like um in difficult situations like sophomore year lost 4-0 to union which is pretty embarrassing um but I, I remember after the game like both my parents told me they'll they'll be there next year and so um that same year we went undefeated and beat them in a pk shootout so i think confidence and just like determination can go a long ways and really any anything you want to put yourself into will has an impressive individual accomplishment we'll talk about it when we return here on the ford high school week i think it might be the reason why tu started recruiting Check out yourview.com slash OK for more Oklahoma high school sports content. You're watching Ford High School Week. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. We're talking to TU men's soccer player, Will Edwards. We're going to jump into a time machine here, Will, and we're going to travel 20, 25 years into the future, and you're going yeah. to look back on your high school career. When you're when you're sitting there and you're 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 talking to you know whoever it may be, what's the good thing that you're going to tell them? Hey, this is how bad of a man I was out there on that field. What story? What's the first thing as far as your high school accomplishments that you're going to mention to tell them how good you really were? Uh, I think. Um... When I like kind of realized that like I I really had a chance of, like being something special in high school was um, it was sophomore year um, it was a quarterfinal against Edmond Santa Fe and I think we were winning one zero going into halftime and that second half I scored a hat trick so and I feel like I've never really seen anyone else do that before even even professionally, but that's probably way harder to do. Um, so I think at that moment, like I was like, I could be, I could be something special in high school if I, if I keep going. Well, let me get this correct. All right. So your sophomore year, you scored a hat trick in one half of soccer in a six day yeah. game in Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you should definitely leave with that story right there. That's that's a good <laughs> story to leave with. <laughs> Not a lot of people can say that, my man. Not yeah. a lot of people at all. Uh, well, well, speaking of your accomplishments, as far as your whole high school career, what what's the biggest accomplishment that you think, I mean, you were worthy or you got to achieve? Would, would it be the two-time Gatorade Player of the Year? Because that's impressive right there. I think... I think my favorite one uh, is definitely my state championship. Um, just because I love Jinx, it's definitely the best high school out there. Um, it's just like to win that for our soccer program. Um, after going 13 years without winning one, um, that was that was pretty special. Well, congratulations to Jinx. Yeah, impressive. <laughs> to, to go out there and, and be one of the main guys and the main reasons why Jinx wins that state championship. But now going on, you, you, you've just uh, you, you've mentioned that to you and, and playing collegiately, you, uh, you decided to stay close to home and, and play for the Golden Hurricane. Uh, what, what, what helped you make that decision and, and how tough of a process was it for you? 
honestly, it really wasn't that hard once I got the offer. Um, I've been going to TU camps since I was like eight, eight or nine years old, just their little day camps uh, on campus. And I just felt it was like, it was home. It's, I mean, Tulsa is home, but TU just always had um, that like place in my heart that I just, I know I wanted to be there. I know I, I wanted to play for uh, Coach Tom, um, just all, and just be a part of that program there. I'm, it's just always been home. And once I got the offer, it really wasn't that hard to accept it. And I didn't really want to go look anywhere else. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I know you didn't want to go look anywhere else, and, and Tulsa was that that's that number one school for you. But what other programs were knocking at your door? Um, I would say SMU was um, kind of knocking on my door. Uh, I never really got a chance to talk to anyone else, really. Um, to you, offered me pretty early into um, – to where like legally coaches can talk to me. Um, I knew SMU had asked my coaches about me, but um, TU was kind of the only one I was I was really um, honestly interested in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were knocking pretty hard after that that hat trick in the second half of that <laughs> that one yeah. game. <laughs> I think Will Edwards will be a welcome addition to the Golden Hurricane soccer team. We wish him well in his college career. And guys, don't forget, send us your workout video to me at Yamamata underscore 28. We'll be happy to show the folks how you're getting it done and preparing for the upcoming season. Go to yourview.com slash OK for complete interviews and more high school sports content. Thank you for watching Ford High School Weekly. Until next time, I'm your host, Gianna Mate.